Clara, I don't assume you've ever uh, plated anything, have you? No, I haven't. Well, it's kind of fun to do. Uh, kids like to because they can copper plate things for relatively easily. Okay. In fact, here are some things that I've already copper plated. See, here's a key. That's what it looked like before I copper plated it. Mm -hmm. And there's what it looked like afterwards. So you can make a key stand out on your key ring. Yeah. By copper plating it. Or here's a, a clamp. That's what it looked like before it's copper plated. And here's what it looks like afterwards. It's copper now. Yeah, it sure is copper. And here's what you're going to plate. An iron eye bolt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what you need is first of all a supply of copper, but in solution. So here's the copper in chemical form. We'll put it in that glass. Okay. Nice blue color. Yeah. Copper sulfate. Okay, now add about enough water to fill it up about three quarters of the way. Okay. Okay, good. Here's a stirring rod, now stir it up. Okay. It dissolves fairly readily. But you see, what we want is a supply of copper in the solution, in the water. Okay. For you to wander around. Then we need a supply of copper to go into the solution after we've taken some of them out. And here is our supply of copper. Okay. okay a copper plate. Okay. I'll connect it up to this red one and put it on one side like this. So now you take the eye bolt over there. Okay. Okay. And connect up the other side. Okay. Like and put it, and don't let the two of them touch. Okay. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Now, that could be a key or a nail or anything else that you want to coat with copper. Okay. okay. Now, not much is happening because we don't have any electricity going through there yet. Mm -hmm. So now what I'd like you to do is to turn on the current right there. Okay. Turn it up. About there. And I want to stick this stirring right in between so they can't touch, okay? Okay. Now, what's happening is the copper that's in the solution as the electricity goes through the solution, it's pulling it out of there and depositing it on the eye bolt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the current coming from the other side is taking copper from the copper sheet and putting it into solution. Okay. Now, the same idea has been used when they coat other things. You mentioned silver plating. Yeah. Well, come on around right here. I have a sample of silver plate. And it was put on this uh, spoon in the same way. Yeah. Put into solution and gradually it built up a whole layer of silver. Okay. How about the ring? Well, I guess it's gold plated. Gold plated, yeah, yeah, and done in the same way. You've seen this before, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. In what, Venetian blind? Yes. Yeah. Whenever something is real shiny like that, you can suspect that it's chrome plated. Okay. Now, how about the bumper of a car? Real shiny? Yeah, it's yeah, chrome plated. Yeah, it's chrome plated, plated also, yeah. yes. Then if it's plated, but not quite as shiny, you can suspect that it may be nickel plated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's one that's plated with zinc. You can see little yeah. crystals. Yeah, you see all the little crystals in there? Yeah. Now, the reason why they coat things with, with these metals is because they want to make it impervious to the atmosphere and to the rain and whatnot. That's why they coat the bumpers of the cars. That's why this has been coated with zinc, so it won't rust. Okay. Yeah. Now, we're coating our, uh, our uh, eye bolt over there just because we want to make it look pretty. Yeah. Okay. It's black. It's, well, it's all here. Turn off the current first of all. Okay. Okay. Now you take the eye bolt. Okay, and dip it in water to wash off all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Now it's black because as we put took the um, the copper from the solution and put it on the eye bolt, we were doing it in elemental copper, real little tiny pieces, so it doesn't reflect very well. Okay. So now after you wash it off, wipe it off with the napkin. Call it a napkin, it's really paper towel, right? Yeah. Here. There, you can begin to see it, see? Yeah, it's copper now. Yeah. And we'd leave it on a little longer, it would get more and more copper plated till finally it would be really thick. Okay. Okay. So you can take this home as a sample of the first time that Clara has ever plated anything. Okay. There you are. Thank you.